stuck between two sticks. What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, dude, why is it like flashing and what in the world's going on? Well, let me tell you. It's actually because of lights. I don't know if y'all know this, but with lights, it actually turns on and off, on and off, on and off super fast, like a lot of times per second. And to our visual eyes, we can't tell. But with the camera, they can tell. Anyways, that's why I'm blinking. If you don't believe me, get on your phone, do some slow-mo video a lot. It's pretty crazy. But anyways, let's carry on to the actual story. We're not going to waste any time here. We're doing a $100 flea market squirrel hunting challenge. But let me tell you a little bit about my purchase. Now, I went to the flea market and I was like, hey, old man, how much you want for this gun? I didn't really say that, but... I basically did. It was kind of inferred. Long story short, I got it for about $100. It is a Savage Mark II. It's a super basic gun. It's been beat up real bad. It's been wore really bad. The guy that I got it from said that it had been used by a coon hunter before he got it. Now, in the moment, I'll be honest, guys, I thought I got a good deal because... Well, that's a cool 22. Magazine fed, a bolt action. That's a really cool thing for $100. Well, I'm, uh, I came home... I looked it up, and you can buy them for not much more, brand new. So I was like, good job, Ken. Bad deal. But I have shot it a little bit, me and Abram. Here's that. We got a new weapon, okay? We got the flea market special. Went down there this morning on the tag. It says 125 I got it a little bit better. Uh, about a hundred dollars roughly okay got some knives thrown in it kind of mixed it up a little bit if you want it I'll set it to you 105 but it's an old savage that's literally about all I know about it been used to pieces used and abused baby used and abused a lot of the bluing wears off here bluing wears off here basically anywhere there's bluing it's been weared off so it's a bolt action comes with a magazine so I'm thinking a bolt action magazine fed that's really good for trapping. That's what I got this for. Mainly my trap line gun. But it has been used a lot. And that's about what you need for a good trap gun. So, got some 22 shells. We're going to make sure it shoots. If it does, I think I done it. I don't know how big this magazine is. I don't know if it's 10 or 25 or 20 or 15. Abraham Lincoln could have used this gun. And that's all it holds. Maybe only 10 or 8. But here we go. I'm going to shoot it. Leaving the tag on it. Let's make sure it works. See what we can do. Okay, kind of works sometimes. Okay, see if we can do it again. Good. Doing all right. See if we can hit the little one. Smashed it. Pretty good. It's the littlest target. That's a good sign. See if we can hit the little one up there. We may have to put a KG sling on it though. Beef it up. Pimp my flea market. It's 22 caliber. Also a good river gun in case you're swimming in the river and you just need a gun to shoot something. Here it is. Here you go, Abram. You are ready to go. Letter eight. There we go. Hammer time, son. Hammer time. Now, there we go. <laughs> a little sticky, ain't it? No. I keep, I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> Shoot, it looks really nice. Kind of. It works really good. Reliable. There we go. Solid hit. Shoot that red one. Shoot that little red plate. There you go. It usually sounds good. Now shoot the really big but like a giant plate. There you go. Different sounds. What do you think about it? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Fun? Yeah. It's decent enough. Abram wanted to scoot back and see what kind of marksman skills he had. So uh, we're probably maybe a hundred yards, maybe a little less. See what he can do. Listen for the ding. Miss. <laughs> Which one you aiming for? Uh, the... The white rectangle one, the they're all rectangles. The, the one, the one they're also close, all white. You know the little five, the five that are down there, the one that's closest to them on the left. You see what I'm talking about? No. Just shoot at it anyways. We'll listen for the ding. 
Try the really big target. Here, take a rest on the mule. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Abram's marksmanship is really being tested today. Let me show you it's done. Don't put that in the video. <laughs> give, give me, here. Which one do you want me to name? The biggest one. <laughs> Hopefully we can get you in here by the end of the day. There we go. How many bullets we got left? A few more. You want me to take it out? It's all right. Let me take. Let me finish them off. <laughs> Hold up. I got something else for you. It's great for coyotes. At point blank range, you should be able to take them out. But anyways, guys, this is a little $100, uh, I don't know, flea market challenge special, I guess. You can find decent stuff at flea markets. I'm not going to say this is the best gun in the world, but it very well may be the cheapest. But soon after I made that video, I knew that I wanted this gun to be different, okay? Like, I like the gun. I think it's cool, but man, if I'm going to have a gun like this... I'm gonna have to make it unique, okay? I'm gonna have to do some upgrades. And so I was thinking, what's like the coolest upgrade that's not gonna cost much? And so then I decided, camo duct tape. I got on Amazon, bought this stuff dirt cheap, and I'm just gonna wrap random pieces with camo duct tape and hope that it gives it some character. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just trying. But before we do that, I've actually got to disassemble the gun. I'll like, completely take the stock off and everything because I want to get some of the inside pieces. Anyways, let's get going. There we go. Sweet. Now we got the stock separated from the uh, actual gun barrel. The first modification I want to make. I was like, okay, cool. I got a plain black stock. I don't want to wrap the whole thing camo. I want to be different. I just want to have one random stripe right here. I'll be honest, guys. This may make it look a whole lot worse, but at least it will make it look a whole lot more unique. And uniqueness is my only objective. Looking beautiful is not one of my objectives. That's kind of like a bonus if we can get that. So uh, let's just go at it and see how it turns out. So far, so bad. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this turned out really bad. This is a lot worse than I thought. This is really bad. There we go. Looking beautiful just as imagined. That was a really bad idea. That was bad. This isn't looking as bad as it did a couple seconds ago. I'll say that. I'll say that for sure. Not to mention my random gunsling just flop it around everywhere. It actually is not looking awful anymore. Got a pretty normal stock with a random piece of camouflage duct tape right there. I mean, I, I'll be honest guys, people would pay for this. Hot dog. I think I'm gonna do one thing extra just because we've almost lost all hope at this point. I'm gonna put a little strip of camo right through here. I mean, can it really hurt at this point? I don't think so. No, I, I was wrong. It, it definitely hurt. This is awful. I don't even know how to hold on to this. Okay, what do you think now? I mean, maybe I can use the duct tape as a cheek rest. I, this is looking very bad. I feel, I don't, I don't like this anymore. I'm taking the sling off too. It's just getting on my nerves flopping around here. After that little stock thing, I don't know how much further I want to go. The duct tape's extremely hard to work with. Ooh, that's not looking completely awful. If we can just bring the tape down. Nope, that messed it up. Great. Maybe duct tape doesn't stick to metal. I didn't act, I actually didn't think about that. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That looks awful. I'm just gonna be honest. Like that, that looks bad. That's what we got right there. I think I'm gonna wrap it a little bit with it and just uh, kind of hope for the best. Yeah, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing that. 
Okay, so I'm sure we all just seen what happened down there. We're not going to talk about it, okay? I was originally really excited about modifying my gun and making it all camouflage and unique. Yeah, that, that, that didn't work at all, okay? We got one piece of duct tape on there, and that was it. I don't know if I just didn't think it through or what, but I don't think duct tape sticks to metal that good. Or especially this kind of metal, which is a gun barrel. But I mean, I've saw people duct tape their guns before, like shotguns and stuff. I don't know, guys. It just didn't work at all. But that's no problem, because I think it can still kill a squirrel without being camouflaged. Now, as for me, we are going squirrel hunting. I am not wearing camouflage at all, except for my boots. And you may be thinking, Kendall, you know, um, uh, aren't squirrels, like, not colorblind? And you'd be correct, Derek. Squirrels are not colorblind, and they can see all the colors I'm wearing, especially blue. But I actually think I'll be okay. And the reason, I just plan on being pretty quiet whenever I get up there. And in my opinion, if a squirrel doesn't hear me, he's most likely not going to know I'm there. And plus, my coat's kind of like the color of dirt. Okay, Greg Gang, listen up. Today is actually a different day. I don't know if you noticed, but in my last video where I caught the fox, I was actually also trying to kill a squirrel for my $100 flea market challenge. But then I ended up catching a fox, and I kind of forgot about killing a squirrel, so we're just going to carry that on today. We're back out here at the high wall, same exact spot. And yeah, I mean, it's the same wall. We need the same exact grappling hook to get up to the top. Today, I'm going to use something a little bit different. I've got a different rope today. That way it's lighter. Maybe I can throw it farther and easier. I mean, there's not really that many people out here grappling hook on YouTube anymore. Well, there never was, but still. Mm. Let's get the new rope. This one's an orange rope. It looks a lot prettier, and it's a whole lot thinner. What's good about this thin rope compared to my giant black one I was using the other day, since we're not literally going straight up and my full body weight's not on this, the thinner rope's just going to be better. It's shorter. I don't need much length whenever I'm actually grappling hooking because I'm usually throwing it up pulling up to one spot, throwing it up to another spot instead of throwing it all the way up to the top. Also, there's no way that I can throw it all the way up to the top. Like, it's literally impossible. This rope here is only eight meters, but honestly, think about it. That's about one of my max throws is about eight meters. If you can throw a grappling hook eight meters, you're doing pretty good, and you can get most of the places that you need to go in the first place. So I'll reach in here, find my grappling hook. Here it is. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get this sucker tied up, and then we'll go ahead and get going, too. And that right there should be good. Looks like a pretty solid grappling hook knot if you ask me. Everything looks good. We'll throw that over there for a second. Real lightweight rope, so I can probably throw it pretty far. We're packing the backpack, the gun, of course, and then some traps because, I don't know, I might set some, some here in a minute. I don't really know, though. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get packed up, and we, will perp and we will start our ascent. Also, guys, before I actually start climbing the mountain, I want y'all to do one thing for me. Ow. And that one thing is to just go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I mean, all you gotta do is, like, scroll down or... Move, move your finger and just click the red subscribe. But anyways, do that for me, and we're about to climb that cliff. All right, sweet. Here we go. Let's keep it moving. There we go. Ow. I'm already getting hit in the head. Whew, I feel like I'm packing a bigger load than I was yesterday, which I am because I'm now I'm packing all these traps, and now I've really only got one hand to work with, and that's, that's one less hand than you need to be climbing. We may be able to make it, though. Here's a big tree right my noggin. Okay, maybe. Better not. That ain't good. Yep, that's what we gotta watch out for. Okay, okay, okay. I think we may get it. If it can come around to the right side. I think that's all right. I think that's pretty good. Now, if I can just figure out how to climb with a barrel, we can be okay, which is not going to be easy, but... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Mm. Come on, man. We can get it a little bit farther. Be all right. If I can get this, set it over there. Okay. Oh. Maybe we'll get a root. We didn't get a root. Okay, cool. Well, we got that. That ain't what we want, though. Oh, no. No! Please, no, gosh, no. 
please no and we got it sweet okay we have lost my grappling hook it's like we're free diving now whatever oh This is bad. This could end very bad. Oh my gosh. Ow! <sighs> okay, I uh, made it up. I made it to the top. I'm just up here chilling now, taking a little breather, just climbed up a stinking mountain. I got some 22 bullets. I don't know if y'all can see them. I'm just loading up this 10 round mag. Our objective today is to kill a squirrel. Now I've also got my trapping bucket with me, which I'm sitting on right now. My plan is to set a few traps. They probably won't be in this video because you've already seen them in my last video if you watched the one with the fox. It's, it's kind of weird because this video and the last video takes place over two days, but there's parts of both days and both videos. It's really weird, not gonna lie. Kind of confusing too if you let it be. But just like that, oh, we're good. I did, just so you know, I did not load my gun before I climbed. That'd been a really bad idea just in case I fell and it went off or something. But yeah, guys, now we're up here. We're just gonna walk down that way. Last time I was up here, I saw a squirrel right over there, so I think I can get a squirrel today. The weather's a little bit better for squirrel hunting than it was yesterday, so. Oh, I think we should be able to do pretty good today. Okay, guys, we got a squirrel located right up here in this tree. The only problem, I think he may have located me too. He's really loud. I'm literally almost to the highest point that I can that I can actually see. I'm really high up on him. He's running away from me. I don't know, guys. I think he sees me. If he sees me, it's gonna be really hard to get him. But until then, I'm just gonna go and try to get close to him, and we'll try to take the best shot we can. It's better to take a shot and miss than not take a shot at all. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I hadn't got him. This place is covered in squirrels. Absolutely covered in them. I think I just got two right here. Yeah, I think I got two. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gun down and my GoPro. Cause we absolutely just murked two squirrels out of the sky. I shot one and it fell somewhere. Um, I think it was out of that tree. And then there's another one right here in this tree and I got him just now. Now he should be right around here somewhere close. This is gonna be the hard part too, trying to find them. I'm gonna need my GoPro's assistance to rewatch the footage to see exactly what tree I shot him out of. Okay, I got one right here. One's right there, I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. Now there's another one somewhere and I haven't exactly located him yet. I know he was somewhere extremely close and he was definitely deader than a hammer whenever he fell out of the tree. But man, after I shot at that first squirrel, I don't know if y'all remember, but I shot at that first squirrel and missed him, unfortunately, a couple times, okay? Not gonna lie, I missed him a couple different times. Oh, there he is, there he is, there's a second one. I'm just gonna let y'all know that second one's not 100% dead. And uh, I'm gonna have to go get my gun and finish him off real quick. 
I'll grab the GoPro. Come on, buddy. How much more ammo we got? Looks like we got one, two, three, four, maybe five. I think we just got four, though. First one's down right there. Second one's right here. Stuck between two sticks. That should have done it for us. Well, one thing leads to another, and uh, now I got two squirrels. So before I shot anything, I knew that there was about three or four squirrels in there. So I shot at that one, missed him a ton. Came on around the hill, like literally every squirrel in the world started squacking. So then I saw one pop out right here on the side of a tree, killed him. He squeaked maybe twice before he was finally killed out. And then after he squeaked, there was like, I wouldn't, I, w I would be, man, dude, there's a lot. I'll give a rough estimate, somewhere between 60 and 70 squirrels just started squacking all around the place. And so at that point, I was like, oh, snap, are they going to try to turn on me? Are they like Ewoks? What's going to happen? But then as I was walking to the squirrel that I just killed, I saw another one, so I took him out too. <laughs> And I could have killed a ton more. Like, there's one right over there squacking right now. Most of the other ones have calmed down, but we're going to let them go, okay? We're going to let them go. We just had we just had our, what, three minutes of fame, three minutes to shine. This place is, like, literally untouched by humans. I mean, there is a rough trail up here, but I'm, it's an old trail. It's an old logging trail. And uh, as you can look around at the size of some of these trees, it's not been logged in a long time. So this place is absolutely overran with squirrels. Not that it's a bad thing because there's a ton of nut trees. There's a lot of food for these squirrels to live and eat. There's just a whole lot of resources for these squirrels to eat. Also, I didn't show y'all because they were too far away. I saw turkeys a second ago. And now that I think about it, this is the place where I turkey hunted like two years ago. Initially, I didn't recognize it because I came in a different route. Two years ago, I actually came all the way around here and climbed up the mountain. While I was this time, I actually just climbed up the cliff with a grappling hook. But now that I'm looking around and thinking about it, I've been here before and I've actually almost killed a turkey up there. Now, I didn't kill a turkey. I've actually never killed a turkey, but I almost did. I came decently close. And spring turkey season is coming up, and I do plan on trying to kill one at least this year. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, I think this is the first kill this gun's actually out. It is a bolt action. It is iron sight, so I did actually miss quite a lot. I think that's okay, since this is mainly a trap gun, mainly for like running the trap line. I'm not going to go out and put a scope on it. If I really wanted it to be an all-around, just, just good old 22, I would probably put a scope on it just so I could reach out and hit those squirrels with more accuracy. And in the location I wanted to, like these, usually with a scope, I go for little, like legit headshots only. With these squirrels here, I really couldn't aim for the head because they were so far away. And I was using iron sights. That's why for squirrel hunting, I generally always have a 22 with a scope on it. Or a 17 works great too. Uh-oh, I found more coyote poopy. I don't know if y'all can see it right there more coyote i'm gonna be honest guys i think we can i think we can seriously do some damage i literally think we can come out here and kill coyotes no problem at all i don't i don't think that's gonna be a problem one bit 